Good day everyone, this is Dash Retro, the most handsome, yakeable, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping, a physical power husband. And as usual, I have my own scintillating, pepperoni, superlicious, sescabuli, baby girl. On today's show, I'm Jacket Solo Ali Setro, and we are always happy having you come back to the Setro's vlog family. In case you're not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, and retweeting. A big thank you goes to our patrons. And you can be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. Yes, it is happening today. What is happening? Mm. So they want to be showing you uh, the progress of these youths, African youth that we've started helping this year. And it's wawalicious. <laughs> because it's a different ball game when you are talking the talk and when you are walking the talk. Because when you walk the talk, you are actually transforming the life of these youths from just being there to being everywhere that is needed for their growth. And as a result of this, we'll be picking them one after the other to give you their before and after. Okay, the first case we'll be starting with today is the case of Chioma. Chioma happens to be somebody that finished the NYC. After that, she got uh, married before you know it, two to three years, her husband was gone and she was left with her baby. And the worst of all was that those that were supposed to help, do you know that we have people that are like globalists right here in Africa? They want to take everything from you to help you. Her husband's friends and all the people around her that should help her, they want to take advantage of her. They want to sleep with her before helping her. Her family members took away everything and she was just left like that to the point that she was contemplating suicide. She was about killing herself before she met Hope. My name is Choma Donko. Yes, I'm the lady that lost the husband three years ago. I have a baby, a son. So after everything that happened, what I went through, I just thank God that African Youth Development Strategy came to my rescue. In fact, they are just, that God sent to me because they came just like and rescued me by paying for my training because I have passion for catching baking and they came paid forty thousand for my training my catering baking training and also gave me twenty thousand to buy the tools that I need for the training so I so much appreciate the other I'll put in my best to learn very well so that before six months or within that six months I'll open my own outlet because they will support me to open up my own outlet after learning so i so much appreciate i sincerely i don't know how to say thank you jolly god that will bless you all for me i sincerely appreciate you people master i appreciate thank you so much and god bless you <laughs> despite the fact that she has a baby to for this man that just died people that were supposed to be there to help at this hour of need they were only coming for what we call self-gratification but for these people, I have a simple prayer for you. You will also cry for help, but you will not see. Because you have chosen to defraud a lady of her body and to deprive a son of the dead man. The, the little help you are supposed to, she, he or she is supposed to get, I tell you, is a painful one. But that is not what we are talking about today. Because at the back of the tunnel, there is always light. And we are so happy because... Choma is going to be one of the most prolific millionaire in the next few years. So Choma came in contact with the African Youth Development Strategy Program and she wrote to us that she uh, and she met us, we met on the live stream. She said she's interested in learning what catering mm -hmm. and that's what we are here for. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we decided to enroll her for our catering trainings and paid for uh, what she needs to start with the two... Uh, the material she needs to start with and you can you, you're gonna be seeing her in the next video with the way she's happy and this is really really great changing african story changing the lives of the people so that we can be helped together and will not be used as tools of mass destruction so watch out for the uh in the next so watch out because in the next six months you're going to be seeing a more robust more rebranded more outstanding more professional choma and she also has a youtube channel where she encourages people that are going through trauma challenging time depression she's there to offer help her link is in the description box below 
kindly follow her and let her know you got a chan got to her channel through us please and be ready to patronize her in her catering services so that she can be able to what take care of her little son without a father and in nigeria there is nothing like a sponsor <laughs> government help she's just on her own we are also trying to train her on how to do our youtube videos to inculcate our catering trainings please just follow her as a result of helping an african youth so that's chairman's case for you it's really a church in so world. with that case number one successful let's move to case number two gang 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 the number two person is a unique one uh, she's by name Enne. Hmm. and why is her case unique because right here uh, in the african youth development strategy program we don't pay for school fees we don't encourage you to go to the formal education that mr Setos clientele like us to just go to to be so as to be job seekers and not job creators the school system you know what i'm saying but we have african-centric system whereby we we encourage our youth to be productive to produce things so that we can be a community of what producers exporters and our life will be better so that's to tell you that our own case is special because she's actually a service provider she's learning what nursing say nursing so somewhere in the middle belt of nigeria that's where she's doing a nursing school and she just cried out we saw this girl she was emaciated crying and we said no and our team decided that our own training is not a training to be looking for a job. She's a service provider that she can even be helping the team of the African youth. By the time they come together, she'll be taking care of them medically and all the likes. <laughs> what do you feel about that? So we have to go for her and you need to see her. And without talking too much, you'll be seeing a video in a nursing regalia. She looks like a professional nurse already in the making. So with this, we move to number two three yeah number three is the gangacious my gangacious baby girl yeah she's by name sophia so many of you have known her on this scheme i want to say she's doing great she's wawalicious yeah she started uh, in may 2020 just may not knowing anything you've seen her clip i still want you to see it again she was crying I, my mother is late my father is not uh uh, she, my father is not uh, well to do. I don't know how to do it. I want to learn fa in fashion designing. I want. I will be happy if you can help me. He decided to just speak up, Sophia. We've never seen her physically till we speak. We only speak on phone. She's from the eastern part of Nigeria, and we decided to pay for her training. And she's doing wawalicious things. See her designs. See her designs. And the in thing right now is that word. This is a girl that doesn't need much of an introduction. She's not a talker, she's a doer. She designs a lot of stuff. And presently, she's making us proud because she has concluded the first training. She has concluded the first level of training. And now we have moved up to paying for her advanced training in fashion over there in the East. And <laughs> And this is incorporating both male and female designs. And you will be shocked what you'll be seeing from this lady. She's a what? She's a she's a she's an international robust application formula when it comes to fashion industry and i tell you just watch out for her so please watch out for our baby girl sophia by name she'll be rolling out these designs that i've seen out uh, wearing the designs we've seen displayed and the one she's wearing she's the one making them and we've just paid for additional materials for her and she'll be rolling out more designs this december and she's saying please 
help make me great by patronizing me anywhere in the world we have a connection now that we can just we'll show you our product then we send them to you and it's gonna be great so we appreciate you encouraging this youth by buying what they are producing yeah 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 so with that being said we move to the number fraud personality on this esperando <laughs> this is not other person but this is no other person but esther by name esther reached out to us for sewing i have passion for sewing please i really like people to support me financially so that i can actualize my dream last month or some months back before last month she lost her mom her dad maybe two years before now and her mom also died this year and she became an orphan i think she's the first in their family or thereabouts she has younger ones and what are we going to do to help these youths she says she's interested in fashion designing we've enrolled her you can see some of her videos by the, what she's doing and have many the money to establish her in uh, buying her machines and every other things are already ready but we just want to see our progress reports we want to see that she's really because on this platform we are not interested in just saying we want to see you do what you say that you really want to do and by the time we are satisfied that she is already putting enough fire into our dream we are getting her a machine because the money for the machine is right there waiting for her yeah so with that being said we move to number five the number fifth person the fifth person on the list is no other person than rebecca rebecca happens to be the first person on the african youth development strategy uh, beneficiary lists uh she had learned fashion she came from a family that her parents are not staying together from a divorced home it's only the woman picking uh what's it called plastics just trying to take care of she and her siblings and it became so comp we became so compassionate we got up to our family you will see our videos at if we did a video on her and people were really interested in her we bought her a machine but I would say that is a sorry case because we are not here to just give you information that you would like. We will give you the exact happenings and updates on this youth. And as many that we found wanting, we throw them off the board. Rebecca's story is such that for now, she has never submitted a single project. And uh, we have been the one following up and I think that is trash. And we've decided to move ahead with others that are performers until she changes. We have no update about her and that is to tell you that on this platform we do not take rubbish for an answer so uh, in case she gets to see this video people that know her gets to see this video please help to encourage her that the best you can keep up with at, on this program because we've seen so many governments and so many non-governmental uh, organizational programs that they just give the people the stuff they don't think of their progress and they don't really get to the point whereby they can make africa proud by making money we are interested in you succeeding by making money. So, Rebecca, in case you're seeing this and all the African youth that will be helping, our utmost gain is that life is better off for you after you are enrolled on this program. And you also affect the life of other three African youths as a reward for the what? For the effort that some persons have put into you. And with that, we'll say Rebecca's story needs further review. Okay. So, with that being said, we are moving to number six yeah the sixth person on the list is by name biodu biodu the carpenter that is it <laughs> this is a very very strong story because we love this guy the young man that was abandoned by his mom into the end of a renowned carpenter somewhere in the community called Makoko and as a result of our venturing into Makoko we discovered this guy building about two story building on top of the water lodge area and it was so fantastic he was so dedicated to work and we decided to do what to engage and help pay for his training so that he can be able to get his freedom so we had to get involved in him because he was just abandoned they're just working endlessly without thinking of 
getting free and getting established established so that i can start making money and making life better off for himself and the other african youth so we decided to come in by paying for his training which was the entrance to his freedom and right now we've paid for that about three to four months or thereabouts ago in two to three weeks time you are all invited global friends because he will be having his freedom celebration and people are already interested in this they've already committed themselves to this yes and we are going to buy him the necessary tools for him to be established as a what as a Magnificento Capilalindos. He's going to be a very, very renowned carpenter. And for your information, we are going to be getting him all the necessary tools for him to what to stand alone, well established as a what as a carpenter. And presently, we are already working on getting him some jobs that he needs to furnish some apartment. And that's just it. Money to get into his end. We we'll manage. We're going to be having different things for them, trainings that will help them. And Africa is going to be great once again because they're going to be helping other youths. That's just the joy of this program. So we move to number six. Or number seven. So with that, we move to number seven. Yeah, the number seven stands for perfection. And on this number seven, we're going to be considering lots and lots of presents. We're going to be considering the Makoko youths. That's the water slum area that we've decided to take up African Youth Development Strategic Program has taken that area up. We have lots of youths there. So I'm going to be starting with the tilers. We have those youths that we paid for. They are into tiling. There are three of them. So you can see them. This is what they are doing. So we have the tilers. Uh, they are into tiling and you see in their works. We have those that are really into barbing. And we have those that are into hairdressing. And we also have those that are into fashion designing. These youths, they are into numerous crafts right there uh, at uh, Makoko. And they are, we are really, really happy that the youths are coming up. And very soon, you're going to be seeing great, great work from them. And the Makoko Youth uh, Development Strategy that we embarked embark on is something so unique because there is a particular story of mine that is attached to that. That was the exact place I almost <laughs> went to commit suicide some few years back. And that is why I can never step back from what assisting the Makoko youth. Because if not for divine help, I would have been rescued as a dead man by those community. So that's it. That's a churchy word. So where you think your weakness, your greatest weakness is, that's your strength. Just like Madame Choma also that wanted to commit suicide, she looked up to God. She just get, she got help from the Holy Spirit, and that's just the end. So when you have divine help, you can move forward in life and help so many others. So that people don't keep committing suicide. We don't have youth committing suicide and wasting their life or being used as hoodlums to scatter the peace of our society. So, with that being said, we move to number eight. Okay, right now we're moving away from the shores of Nigeria. We're going to Benin Republic. And we have this youth by name John. The mother sells firewood in the village to sustain the boy. I think the dad is late and all the likes. And and we discovered this young man and we decided to help. Presently, we brought him is what is machine. And he's going through a training to, for bespoke suit tailoring. And you're going to be seeing great, great things from this guy. Yeah. With that being said, we move to number nine. The number nine person is no other person than Dockers. Dockers is a girl that is less than 12. And we got to know her right there just selling in the market and docker's story is special to me because i personally found her hawking peanuts and with little interaction i had with her something was just telling me help this girl help this girl help this girl because she was polite a true african child that is polite and i was going out to come back and say i need to meet your parents and that is how the journey began and we asked her what do you like to do without blinking eyes she said what i want to learn hairdressing hairdressing and makeup and i think she's just between the age of 12 13 or thereabout and she just knew what she wanted and do you know the video we did 
with her the first time. When we enrolled her, this girl was in tears. Even our boss started crying. Myself, I started crying. She said, I've been wanting to do this thing. I'm so grateful that I'm now helped to do this. There's nothing that makes us feel happy as humans than seeing the lives we help. No. So everyone, watch out for Dockers. The most smallest, smallest, smallest amid them. I think she's the late, the smallest, the smallest amid them. But she's doing great in hairdressing and uh, pedicure, manicure, um, whatever cure cure they call it. <laughs> Even into facials, she's doing facials and all the like. So watch out for her. She's going to be a what an outstanding African facial makeup artist. Okay. So we move on to number. 10. Yes, the 10th person on this list today is no other person than our wonderful, young, fat, prolific Mike Kelly. Mima. Yes, that's <laughs> he's just a joke. He's by name Michael. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tim Dr. Michael. I'm Matt Smith for now. Then Joseph Lord. I've got to develop my strategy. Thank you very much. I was actually going out one day and I saw this young youth working and he was dejected. So I walked up to him. I said, would you like, what would you like to do? Something for the He said, I, I would like to do photography. And he's from a broken home. The mom and the dad, they are not together. And uh, no, 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 no. And this Michael happens to be so much intelligent and very, very, very outstandingly unique to the extent that he's going to be presenting, he's going to be representing African Youth Development Strategy in a summit next year. You need to watch out for him because he's going to be doing much in the realm of photography and cinematography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said, one thing he said during his last video that touched me is like, I'm so happy that you're making me fulfill my dream of becoming a great photographer, African youth development strategies. Despite the fact that I have so many of the challenges that we've not been able to get his camera for him, his personal camera, and uh, what have you again, uh, laptop. We said just be managing, and the guy is really interested. So with that, we move to number 11. Two persons on the list are this set of Makoko youths that we decided to help, although it's not part of the African Youth Development Strategy Program, but they are youths. Uh, not youth, I mean children. One of them is the daughter of the person that navigates the, the youth leader of Makoko. He lost his wife and we had to help train this little girl. We gave them scholarship for one year and the daughter of another woman that was so generous to us on our visit. Yeah! So with that, we move to the last number 12. And to wrap it up, we had this set of triplets that they were born into a swampy area. We had to also come to our, their aid. One is at the back, sleeping. So this is... Okay, this is one of them. And this is the third. This is the third. So, all we just need now is to ensure that they get a um, large quantity of food. Food and pampas. So, store here. Yeah. I'm getting all the necessary stuff for the triplets that I'm showing you on this channel. So, we are getting them. Sorry, can I have. Let me show what I'm getting. Um, I got them a flax. The flax. Although you are going to see the receipt, this the flax is a uh, seven thousand five. At least this one can take the triplet, even if they want to eat like a uh, man. So I have the pampas. How many are inside this one? Four hundred and five. Four hundred and five. So one hundred and five pampas in one. I got two, two pack of this. So it's something interesting. Maybe I will leave the name of this store so that in case you want to patronize them, you can come around. God they, give children's they seem to have uh, everything that you need for your baby. What else? What? Aha, uh -huh, now this is I got. How can you read that up? Okay. I got. Milk, one pack. I got none, one. Because the mother, there is no way you. Those of you that are saying uh, breastfeed, breastfeed. That is, unless you want to turn to a cow. There is no way she can breastfeed three children at once. So I got a carton. A full carton of this so i think with this, this is that we can help our community anytime we see people like this we just assist them and make the world a better place so 
in your own life? What have you done to assist others? So you are welcome to restore again. God's give children's world. This is God's give children's world. So, bye bye. Instead of people wonderful followers we have on this platform they decided to help and it's been great so I want to say thank you to all and this is just the best and the little we can bring to you at this time is a love show it's a joy show just within six months or there about that this started in may the loss of our baby victoria central pushed us to do this more because we promised that we'll make sure that we don't allow the globalists just keep wasting life here in africa so it's a grateful thing to do this so let's have your view in the comment section what do you feel is it okay how we're really monitoring this youth or how do you feel we can do it better yeah so with that being said i'm not going to talk too much because i'm filled with happiness and uh, i I'm always emotional when my daughter's name is mentioned once again. So I'll just say thank you everyone for being there with us. Thank you.